somebody pleasure yourself with that worship right now say i take pleasures in worship worship this master jesus i take pleasures in an amount sin and an ahan and an e war of sin about shah i take pleasures in worship living you lord bigger than all my problems he speaks than everything. God is bigger than any mountains that I can not cannot see. My God is bigger than all my problems. Oh, it's bigger than everything. Hey, Karamala Kathia. My God is bigger than every mountain I can, not can see. That mountain before you is coming down. You didn't get that. I prophesy over that mountain that have exalted itself above the knowledge of God in your life. That mountain be made plain this day in the name of Jesus. Every mountain in your life by the mandate of God over my life, I speak today prophetically. That mountain is getting out of the way. 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 In the name of Jesus. Ah, Hey, ah, I hear you, Lord. A call for prayers. Hey, you sent the rock and roll, But I will hear the trump of the Lord. I will hear the sound of war. Hey, Kuparato Shata Kabaha. Lord, pick up your spurs and bow. Let's go, Prodosha. Yes, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, Lord, I give you praise. Lord, I give you praise. Nikona Malo, Senderabo, Sinderagade, Soski Pragado, Sharabanagade, Renderabo, Sandaraba. I give you praise. Just wave your hands, give him praise. He's an awesome God. Oh Jesus. Oh Jesus. Oh Lord. Your name is greater than every other name. The Bible said, no name that is given among men in which anyone will be saved by the name of Jesus. He said at the mention of that name, he said, every knee has got to bow. There is no negotiation. There is no argument. At the mention of the name Yeshua HaMashiach, every knee has just got to bow. We glorify your name, Lord. We don't care what the world is saying. We don't care, oh Lord, how much troubles, oh Lord, come our way. 
For we know one thing of a fact that greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. For our hope is built on all things but on Jesus Christ. That rock, that rock, that rock that never fails upon that rock we stand upon that rock we build our faith is built on that rock Somebody just go ahead and worship God. Go ahead and worship God. I hear the Lord said to me, I am taking away that sorrow. I'm taking away that shame. Daughter of Zion, I hear you cry and I hear you say at night, Shall what pursued me in 2020 follow me into 2021? But I've come with a good news for you right now, child of God. For thus said the Lord of hosts, It shall not stand, neither shall it come to pass. Everything that has followed you from Egypt will drown in the Red Sea. In the name of Jesus. Whatsoever has pursued you right from the day you left Egypt will not follow you into 2021. I declare that they drown in the Red Sea in the name of Jesus. What oh, a mighty God we serve. Holy Spirit we give you glory we give you glory we give you glory as the mountains surround Jerusalem so the Lord surround his people Ah, Madada Dabaha Zodobos Kiraboskadi. And as the mountains surround Jerusalem, so the Lord surround his people. My heart will never ever fear in times of war. My heart will never ever fear. In times of war, Father, even in this 2021, as the mountains surround Jerusalem, so the Lord surround his people. Hey, Mother Bosha, I hear you, my father. Say, my heart will never ever fear. In times of war, my heart would never ever feel. In times of war, sing Jehovah, Shama. The Lord is here. Jehovah Tikenu, Lord, my righteousness. To Jehovah, Rapha, the Lord, my healer. Jehovah Shabbat, Lord. The man of war. May the Lord manifest himself to you in this year. 
in the name of Jesus as you learn to put God first you will never be last in the name of Jesus as you learn to depend on God hey the Bible says some trust in chariots hey and some trust in horses but we trust in the name of our God Ah, Kubalada will sit up a Holy Spirit. In an amali, Zada Dadi. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I lift it up, Lord. Come and quench the thirsty of my soul, O oh Lord, as I thirst before you. Mm. Say, bread from heaven. Feel me till I want no, no more. more. Feel my, my cup. Feel it now and make me As you come before the Lord in 2021, I prophesy to seven presents. Ah, as your cup before God is empty. Uh, before the end of January 2021, I decree that the Lord will fill your cup in the name of Jesus. I said the Lord will fill those empty cups in the name of Jesus. I cannot to know what the name of that cup is. Hey, but I have a God that fills up cup. I have a God that fills up cups. I have a God that fills, fills you up. And fill you up to the state that you will want no more. to the Lord wherever you are. Worthy, worthy is the Lamb. The Lamb of Calvary. There is nothing that is impossible with my God. I don't know of you, but there is nothing impossible with this God that I serve. Am I talking to somebody? He is the impossibility specialist. Uh, he is known very well for those things that men say it is impossible. Praise God. Uh, without God, yes it is. <laughs> but with God, with God, everything is possible. Hallelujah. I want to say, Lord, thank you, Lord, for your experience this morning with us. Thank you, Lord, for bringing us, oh Lord, into the gathering. Somebody say the gathering. Thank you, everlasting Father, for giving us the privilege to be able to hold our hands. The Bible says we are one or two, three are gathered. Ah, he is there in their midst. It is a great privilege to say Lord we give you thanks and we give you praise for giving us at least the privilege to be able to hold hands together praise God and I believe that our hands as our hands are joined together nothing will break the fellowship in the name of Jesus not even the slightest of the demons will break the fellowship in the name of Jesus let me announce to you believers people of God 
what the devil is after is that fellowship in this dispensation the devil is after breaking fellowships the devil is after breaking the coming together I know some persons may say in your heart that oh after all we, we worship the Lord in the spirit I mean we can connect from wherever we are yes it is possible but there is something about coming together Jesus understood this and that was why he told the disciples he said go then to Jerusalem and wait somebody say wait the Bible said, and when they were in one accord, somebody say one accord, there come a mighty rushing wind. There come the move of the Holy Spirit. Whatever you do, don't get carried away by the season. Don't get too relaxed at home. Make sure you are praying in your secret place that God should end this pandemic. Don't get too, too comfortable. I see believers getting so comfortable that at this time they want to hate they want, to, they want to just just hate one way or the other hate coming together don't get too comfortable don't get too comfortable the bible says woe unto those that are at ease in Zion I can't be at ease woe unto me if I'm at ease in Zion the first thing the devil wants to do is to make you feel comfortable with what is happening I see that many believers have been, have been bought into the wave. The, the, the wave of activity is going on. Everybody is fighting for survival. Am I communicating with somebody? He that or two, you must fight for spiritual survival. Hallelujah. This morning, by God's special grace, I'm going to be speaking to us on the topic of caption the importance of the mind in the place of prayer the importance of the mind your mind in the place of prayer the mind of every man is so important powerfully important the mind is a weapon and a major instrument Paul got the revelation about the mind of a man in the book of Romans chapter 12 verse 2 he said the only way you can experience transformation is when your mind is renewed the mind has a very vital role what it does in the place of prayer Believers, today we are declaring our 21 days that is going to be starting tomorrow. Would, do I have your, your support? Put your hands together to the Lord. Today breaks the opening of the 21 days fasting and prayer. But I want to let you know that your mind got to be in, on it. You have to put your mind in what you were doing. The mind is a place where the soul fits from. That's why the Bible says you got to guide it so well. For out of it comes the issues of life. The mind has a, has, has, has a room of its own. And when your mind is not in the thing that you are doing, you are bound to be distracted. Because your mind must be somewhere. The Bible says we are the treasure of a man is. There lies his heart. So your mind is a powerhouse. That holds everything about you. You cannot be praying this season. And your mind is in your pot of soup. You cannot be praying this season. And your mind is some other place. If you must get full results in these 21 days let me tell you it's better you don't even fast than fast and your mind is not in the fast you've just decided to go on hunger strike 
it's better you don't do it. When you say my hope is built on nothing else but on Jesus. It simply means that your mind is stayed on Christ and nothing else. The Bible says God is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. And you cannot seek God diligently without your mind staying on him. And one of the things you have to understand, and I'm, I mean, you don't have to understand it because I know you know it. You cannot cheat your mind. Your mind is you, and you are your mind. The Lord said, These people, He said, This lip serve me. But your heart is far away from me. You can be serving God, but your heart is not with Him. Why are you doing this disservice to yourself? David said, Every day, morning and night, will I seek Him. Yet there are people that are worried. If they give some kind of census to themselves, I found out that they've been coming to church very regular. They start getting worried themselves. I say, whoa, 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 hold on. Pump, pump the brakes there. Why am I giving all my time in church? Why? And they do what? They start going back, retrogressing because they felt like it is not normal. Take me to that place. Take me to that mountain. Lord, take me to that mountain where I will not be tired of seeking your face. Take me, Jesus, back to that mountain. Some of us have lost the oil of zeal. The scriptures say, for the zeal of the Lord has eaten me up and the fire of the Lord burns in my bones. Some of us, there is no fire in our bones anymore. It's snow. We have snow inside our marrows. Everything has quenched. Even the little candle that you have, you have hidden it under the bushing. You cannot see God in seeking him this time when your heart is not with him. One of the things that you can't hide from God is your heart. The Lord knoweth the hearts of every man. And the Bible said, do not be, come on, come on, come on. Do not be deceived, for God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man sows, that he shall reap. Not everybody that says, Lord, Lord, are for God, are for Christ. Some of us, some of us are waiting to see Antichrist. I don't know. But me, I'm not waiting to see him because I'll be gone before then. So if you know you booked your seats to wait and watch the, the movie, thanks be to God for you. Me, I will not witness that movie. God forbid. But let me tell you. You think that the Antichrist will be, will be an individual. Will be a person. No. Antichrist is not a person. Antichrist is a spirit. And the church don't know that the spirit of Antichrist has been released already. It's working. It's working in, in, in the lives of many. What is Antichrist? Anything that is Antichrist. Anything that stands in opposition to what we give the name of Christ or the gospel of Christ credit is Antichrist. So there are believers that are operating with the spirit of Antichrist. The songwriter said, I'll put you in front, in front of my melody. It is a, it's a place where you put God first in all you do. 
Pastor, what do you mean? Between the time you move from being a believer that is for Christ and become an antichrist, you may not know. You may not know. The same way you don't know the mystery of the wind, how it comes and goes. That's the same way you may not know when you start sliding into becoming an antichrist. It's a spirit, people of God. Don't wait to see an individual. People have said a whole lot. People have come with some kind of myth saying a whole lot that, oh, uh, Trump is an antichrist, uh, Obama is an antichrist, this one is an No, you've not seen antichrist and you may not even see him because he's a spirit. Paul tried to reveal this to us telling us that in the last days he said the love of many shall wax cold the love of many one of the ways antichrist the spirit of antichrist will penetrate your spirit man is when your love for Christ and your zeal for Jesus Christ has waxed cold Whatever you do, don't let your zeal wax gold. Don't let that zeal. You, you alone, you, you, you alone can tell, tell yourself the truth. If you are still there or not. You alone, you are, the, you are the only person that can tell yourself the truth in this life. If the zeal of the Lord is in you. When the zeal of the Lord come upon you, it will drive you to do crazy things. No wonder people are so are so lackadaisic in activities, in things. They are so relaxed. Why? Because the zeal of the Lord has not eaten them up. Maybe the zeal was there before, but along the line, the zeal died. That's why when they see you that have zeal, they try to tell you to be mindful. They try to tell you that that zeal you are having, it is, it is dangerous. It will destroy you. Hey, let the zeal of the Lord destroy me. I am better to be destroyed by the zeal of the Lord than to be destroyed by the advices of men. Hallelujah. It's better that the zeal of Jesus takes me. Let me tell you, Jesus came to take yokes, right? Yeah, he came to take you. And the same time he said, take my yoke on you for they are light how can Christ come to take away body and at the same time he's putting a yoke do you know what yoke is you, you, you put the thing on the neck and Jesus said take it put it on I've told you each time you try to walk with your common sense you find your, yourself out of the will of God because the will of God is not based on common sense and logical reasoning the ways of the Lord, the Bible says, are not the ways of man. And the ways of man cannot be the ways of God. The Bible says, as the, as the heavens are higher than the earth, so is the ways of God higher than your ways. The book of Isaiah 26 verse 3. Isaiah 26 verse 3. It says, thou would keep him in perfect peace. Thou will keep him, not keep them. I've told you your salvation is a personal race and not a community race. Your salvation, it is too personal. And until you start reasoning it from that aspect, that is a personal race and not a race of a church. Salvation is not the race of the Dunamis Palace. No, we have our individual race, and it is too. See, let me tell you, my salvation is too personal to me that I can fight for it. That thou will keep him, not them. Thou will keep him in what perfect peace. Isaiah twenty six verse three. Keep him in what perfect peace whose mind is what stayed on thee whose mind
mind is stayed on thee. Child of God, your mind got to stay on God. It is a mind that is stayed on God that God will speak to. It is not a mind that is stayed on bank accounts that God talked to. It is not a mind that stayed on cars and pleasures of lives and properties that God will talk to. My God will talk to those minds in this season that are stayed on him. You gotta learn to stay your foot on Christ. You gotta learn to sit your thoughts on Christ. Somebody say fire. fire. Stay on him. Ah, if you got a neighbor around you, just push that neighbor and say, neighbor, please stay. Push that neighbor and say, stay. Day. Isaiah saw this. Isaiah, Isaiah is not just an ordinary prophet. Isaiah is one of the top and major prophets in the Old Testament. He's not a, a, a you know, you know, you know, he's not one that is in apprentice business in the prophetic ministry. He's one that God speaks to. Isaiah was one of those prophets that had the privilege to foresee the event that will take place in, on, on, in the life of mankind that Christ will be born, the Savior will be born, and Isaiah had the privilege to see and to foresaw how the government shall be upon the shoulder of Jesus Christ. So Isaiah is not just an ordinary man. These are men that have been able that they've been tested and they are trusted by heaven the bible says god will only reveal the things of the secrets to his servants are you are you a hireling or you are a laborer laborers don't have place in the world but they have place in the kingdom Pastor, what do you mean? When I labor for my company, they will pay me what cannot sustain me. But when I labor for God, God gives me sustenance, not for two months or for 12 months, but forever. Are you a hireling or you are a laborer? Who are you? We may be in the same church, but we don't know ourselves. Because our spirits and our opinions about God can be very, very different. There are some that are willing to go to the depths of the depth. And there are some that are okay to be a shallow Christian and a shallow believer. So we can't be the same. So don't take your shallow mentality and your shallow understanding about God to come and compare it with my depths of Christ over the years. You got to understand that your mind, let me tell you, when your mind is purified, you, you, you experience stream of glory, flow. When the world is under pressure, you cannot be under pressure. Ah, my God. I just wish you could believe with me and say, I can never be under any pressure. Can you say one more time, I can never be oppressed. I mean, we saw God in this ministry manifest divinity in the place of humanity. Do you know the kind of God we serve? <laughs> uh, the kind of God you think about may not be the kind of God I serve. I serve the living God. El Ohim. The I am that I am. The beginning and the end. 
the one that made the heavens and earth he that sits upon his throne and he used the earth as his footstool is the God I serve hey the Bible said that he will never suffer my foot to be moved hey child of God I am planted and no power from any Jupiter no power from hell can uproot me somebody say I hear you Those that are planted in the house of the Lord, the Bible said they shall flourish in the court of their God. There are people that are not planted. You got to fight to be planted. Because in your planting lies your flourishing. One thing I, I give God praise is that nobody can fake hearing from God <laughs> oh Lord you can't fake it you see sometimes I hear some preachers say oh fake it until you get it fake it until you make it praise God but I tell you the truth we are not in the place or in the mood to fake Whatsoever the Lord do it shall be forever. If God, see, level of communication with God depends on how much your heart is with Him. No father, hear this, no father will ever talk to a son that is distant away from Him. No father. God said to the children of Israel, he said, draw nigh unto me. You cannot be 750 miles away and expect to hear God more than the person that is just by the side of God. No. You are a fraud. You are not hearing from God. Fake. And you cannot put gimmicks in it. No, you cannot try. I see, that's why I just love God because God is not fake. So, those that worship Him, the Bible says, What well, must do what? Well, worship Him in spirit and in what? And how can you worship Him in spirit and truth when your mind is far away from Him? It is impossicanto. Let me add that one. Somebody say, Impossicanto. Mm hmm. In this season, don't expect to spend two minutes in the place of prayer and you expect to hear 30 minutes from God. No. <laughs> yeah, it won't work. And I'm advising you now to change that mentality. Don't expect to be a believer that in the morning that put toothpaste on the brush and they are rushing to go to work. Go, 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 go. Father Lord, we give you praise in the name of Jesus. Father Lord, I thank you. They are done. Thank you, Father, in the name of Jesus. They are gone. You must, you must explain someday what has been speaking to you because it could be a familiar spirit that tends to be like the Spirit of God. No, it's a man that have tarried in the presence of God that comes out renewed. And with tablets of what God has said in his hand. You know, the tablets that we have today, God was the first to give a tablet to Moses. Tablet. And what does your tablet have? It has information, written documents and stuff. That was what, see, this God is too much. You see, when he says he is the I am that he is, and also he's the beginning and the end, some of us are just, okay, yes, he said, but no, he, he's telling you that there is no technology today or the one that will come after that he, God, was not the first. I'm talking about the kind of God I serve. 
he is the first surgeon and his own kind of surgical operation you know science is trying to beat it but they cannot God operated on Adam without a scar oh my God He is revelation himself. <laughs> He's a God that stepped out of eternity to create time and stepped back also into eternity. That's my God. And you cannot have understanding of him if you don't bury yourself in revelation. Some of us, the level where we are is the level where we encounter mysteries. And there is no interpretation for it. Why? Because of your level. When you go deep, God will give you the keys to decode everything that is a mystery and to demystify things so you'll be able to understand them. That's why he said to, he said to Miriam and and error he said if there is a prophet in the land if there is a prophet in the land i will reveal myself to them in dreams and dark speeches but moses my servant i speak to him face to face so there is no time Aaron we claim to be an age mate with moses tell you fathers are great there are certain things fathers here that no matter how tall you think you are more than your father you can't hear those things it is not your height that determines how much you hear from heaven hello some persons may think oh because i fly you know canada air or air canada or whatever it is every now and then i'm in the air so which means i will hear god after all the bible says god exists in the heavens so this is the heavens hello change your mentality so each time we want to hear from God if we don't have etiquette we won't hear from him uh, God is existing where your mind is try it take out take, take off your mind from everything the cares of this life and focus all your energy on God if you don't walk miracles then you know that God does not exist hallelujah let me show you something in the book of James chapter 5 verse number 16 James 5 Verse number 16. Lord, I give you praise today and forever. You are my strength. Strength like no other. Strength like Love this God. <laughs> you are my strength. Strength like no other. Strength like no other. Strength like no other. Reaches to me. Somebody sing. Reach 
reaches to me. Reaches to me. Come on, give God praise. Give God praise. Give God praise. Hallelujah. James chapter 5, verse 16. Look at this. James 5, verse 16. He said, therefore, confess your sins to one another. Praise God. Now, he said, confess your, your, your sins. Praise God. Is this, is, this, uh, is this King James? Good. He said, confess your faults one to another and pray one for another that ye may be healed. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availed what much. Now, let me explain something there. He said, confess your faults. It doesn't mean that you should go and tell people and say, this is the sin I have committed. No. That is, what the Bible is saying there is confessing if an, an, a hurt you have done to a brother. He said, the both of you confess to yourselves, oh, I have hurt you, I've offended you, I'm sorry. So it has nothing to do with a sin inside of you, no. So, but for us to get this whole scope very well and understand this, let's see it from the amplifier. Let's amplify this James chapter 5 verse 16. Um, in the amplifying, it is rendered this way. Therefore, confess your sins to one another. Your false steps. Praise God. Your offenses. And pray for one another that you may be healed and restored. Now, he said, the heart felt. Have you seen that word? Your heart must be in the prayer for result to come. The heart felt and persistent prayer of a who a righteous man in bracket believer is able to accomplish much when put into action and made effective by God when put into action and made effective by God. He said it is what? Dynamic and can have tremendous power. You want to see power? Let your mind be right with God. You want to see results when you pray? Hey, uh, let your mind be right with God. Remember Isaiah? 26 3 he said only those that their mind is stayed on him uh, come on come on listen have you heard people say oh i have a mind of my own watch their life you see those people that tell you oh you, you can't tell me what to do i have a mind of my own who is dragging your your mind with you keep your mind but when you submit your mind to God you will not be running after your own will or what will gratify you but you will be running after the will of God Amen. Jesus was faced with a situation where he could say I have a mind of my own I don't think I'm ready now to die but he went in and prayed at the garden of Gethsemane he said father let not my will be done but your will let not my will be done but your will have you been a believer that prays that the will of God be done in your life or you are that believer that take off the will of God and put your will inside that's why many of us don't get results because we don't pray let your will be done father 
we think we can change everything and change all things there are certain things that are necessary for you in fact i i make bold to tell you that there are certain challenges that are necessary you go through because it is the will of god it is not every challenges and mountain you pray to go no it is not learn to stay your mind on god when your mind is focused on god you will know if god really wants you to go through that phase of life for nothing just happened to you for nothing everything has a reason the bible say and it, 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 it came so strong on him that he must go through that journey because of the man at the gathering necessity is laid upon me says Paul I'm going to give us some few points before I close praise God what the benefit the benefit of your mind in the place of prayer the benefits of your mind in the place of prayer number one prayer helps us to come into the fullness of the holy spirit prayer helps us to come into the fullness of the holy spirit acts chapter 4 verse 31 let's move very fast now acts chapter 4 verse 31 prayer helps us to come into the fullness of the holy spirit acts chapter 4 verse 31 prayer helps us to come into the fullness of the holy spirit and when they had prayed the place was shaken where they were assembled together somebody say what somebody say what if you must experience shaking after prayer or during prayer you must learn to come together you know the place was shaken after they were assembled together and they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and they speak in the word of God with boldness they speak the word of God with boldness if your mind is not together you can't do things together the Bible says can two walk except they agree that agreement is people's mind coming together and say yes we stand and we are doing this you know this generation we are is a very selfish generation i tell you and it bleeds my heart to see many believers become so selfish to the core very selfish to the depth if the way we are going about the gospel of jesus christ in this generation if that was how the early apostles did it do you think that salvation will come to you and i nobody wants to die in this generation even the so-called preachers nobody wants to sacrifice but you've forgotten that the essence and the foundation of the gospel of jesus christ was built on sacrifice if you are not ready for that sacrifice and to accept that sacrifice and not to love your life even unto death then you are not qualified You are not qualified you are not qualified nobody wants to be told no believers have come to the extent where but they are so they, they are so selfish that they don't want to be, be be you know be rejected they don't want to face rejection this sin the gospel you must see and experience acceptance and also rejection if you are only ready to be accepted and not to be rejected then the spirit of god is not in you because when you go to preach and evangelize people two things you must be ready for you must be ready for them to tell you yes and you must be ready for them to tell you no so if you say you don't want to go and evangelize because people tell you no then it's not really because you are doing it for the gospel's sake you are doing it for your personal and selfish advertisements better change 
Ephesians chapter 5 verse 18 Ephesians chapter 5 verse 18 let's move very fast Ephesians 5 verse 18 praise God thank you Holy Spirit thank you Lord Ephesians 5 verse number 18 and be not drunk with wine wherein is excess but be filled with what be filled with the spirit let me tell you what gives you boldness after you pray is the spirit you know in your place of prayer god could reveal a whole lot to you right but what gives you the boldness to tell somebody as say this is thus said the lord this is what the lord is saying is the holy spirit that guarantees you that boldness that's why in this dispensation <laughs> your psychological way of reasoning cannot carry you through I'm, I'm, I'm so I'm so happy to announce to you that if you must be carried through in this dispensation then you must understand that it is the spirit of God that will give you the ability to fly higher in this season. Some of you don't know that the end time you'll be preaching about and waiting for is already at hand. It's, it has come already. The gospel is being is being is being is being stifled. You know, is is being held. They are limiting the ability for men and women to preach the gospel. It's happening before your eyes. And people are people are in church playing politics when things are happening out there you're concerned about covid covid is nothing compared to what is coming covid you're worried about covid 19 wait you will not even see 19 this time you'll see 120. what's about to come and if you are still struggling at the level of hey covid Oh, COVID, I pity for your soul. Because if you don't build your most holy faith and get ready for the battle to come, you will drown. Now, you see, all those, oh, I, I am for Christ. Oh, I'm radical for Christ. Now is the time to show it. It's not cheap talk. The days will come and this is the day where we will know those that are really standing for God. You know, this generation if you put gun and say, hey if you, if you are going to heaven come, we have to shoot you, you have to die. There are people that would quietly tell you and say, uh, God, you understand you know, I have children I don't want to die now, if I die, we'll take care of them. And you ask them, who took care of you? If not God. When you got so sick that even though your parents had money to take care of you, th their money failed them. Yes. Who stood by you to make sure that you never fail or died? Today, you are grown up. You want to let God understand priority. God does not know priority. May you repent. Hallelujah. Number two, in the place of prayer, you experience guidance from the Holy Spirit. Acts chapter 13 verse 2. Acts 13. In the place of prayer, you experience guidance from the Holy Spirit. This season is a season whereby you experience supernatural guidance if you stay your mind on God. He will guide your path. If you stay your mind on God, he will navigate you from the troubled waters. Acts 13 verse 2. As they ministered to the Lord and fasted, the Holy Ghost said, Separate me, Barnabas and Saul, for the work we are unto, I have called them. Somebody say direction. direction. Somebody say guidance. guidance. If you stay your mind on him, he will always tell you what to do. That's why I don't take any action without going back. No matter how simple it appears. 
I always go back to seek the face of my father. Because it may look simple. Oh, pastor, why not just... But I don't... I always seek God. Hallelujah. Number three. Your breakthrough spiritually becomes... Your breakthrough spiritually because you allow the Holy Spirit to pray through you. One of the things you must allow is allowing the Holy Spirit to pray through your mind, to pray through your spirit, and to penetrate your soul. Your breakthrough is because you will allow the Holy Spirit to pray through you. Praise God. Romans chapter 8. Romans 8. Romans 8, 26, 28. Romans chapter 8, verse 26, 28. You must learn to allow the Holy Spirit to pray through you. Likewise, the Spirit also helpeth our what? Infirmities. For we know not what we should pray for as we ought. We don't know. We don't know what we should pray. We don't know what we should ask from God. But because we yield our mind to the Holy Spirit, so the Holy Spirit start tabulating certain words inside of our heart. Then we now know because he has given us the spiritual GPS to begin to navigate the realm of the Spirit. So we now know what to alter out of our mouth. But the Spirit itself make it intercession for you and I with what? With groaning which cannot be altered. With groaning which cannot be altered. You are having something inside of you but you can't explain it because it's a groaning in you that you can't alter. Number four, Isaiah 66, verse 8. Isaiah 66, verse 8. Don't leave until you travel in the spirit. In your place of prayer, as you put your mind on God, make sure your mind is stayed there. Don't leave until you are able to travel in the realm of the spirit. Ah, the Bible says, Who had heard such a thing? Who had seen such things? Shall the earth be made to bring forth in one day? Or shall a nation be born at once? For as soon as Zion travailed, she brought forth her children. In this season, you must learn to stay your foot. You must learn to be in the place of prayer until you are able to travel. Somebody shall fire. I must travel. Am I communicating with somebody? Oh yeah. I must travel in this city. Victory is not gotten via cheap talk. There are people, they are good to, to talk. They, they just talk. Talk is cheap. Victory is not gotten via cheap talk. Victory is gotten via your knees. Show me a prayer woman. I will show you a woman that can turn the whole nation upside down. Show me a prayer man. I will show you a man that any time he sees anything, he goes down in prayers and seek the face of God. The Queen of England looked at a man called John Knox. She said, if there is one thing I fear, so much is the prayer of John Knox. A queen that controls the army, the great movement, yet she is afraid of the prayer of one man. Learn to tarry in the presence of God. Praise God. Number, number, number five, I believe, or number, yeah, number five. And the last, learn to tarry on your knees. Genesis 32, verse 26. Learn to tarry on your knees. You either kneel before man 
and kneel before man forever or you decide to kneel before God and stand up to any man or any situation I tell you those people that spend their time on their knees they stand before any mountain in their life praise God Genesis chapter 32 verse 26 32 26 32 26 come on let's go and he said let me go talking about Jacob let me go for the day break it and he said I will not let thee go except thou bless me hello persistency is the bedrock for every success any believer that will not be persistent in prayer in this season may not make it Jacob held the angel held the angel bound and battled and wrestled with the angel all through the night and the angel say JJ what's happening I need to go the day break he said no I am not letting you go until you bless me I'm not letting you go Lord until you change my name I'm not letting you go oh Lord I'm going to parry on this prayer until you do something until you change the situation until you change my life until you change my identity I will not let you go hallelujah I need them I won't let you go believers in this season I don't mean believers they pray for one hour and they are tired you know I need believers that can tarry they tarry and they pray they cry out to God men and women with fire burning in, in their bones and in their mouths so real and not fake men that can change the course of heaven men that can hold on to onto the heavenlies and say you, you change it change it father i know you have passed the decree but you are a merciful god i know judgment has gone but lord you are a merciful god men that can bargain with heaven today the church has no intercessors there is none to intercede and God said, For I sought for a man that will stand in the gap. There is nobody standing in the gap. Everybody is standing on the goalpost. Because everybody wants to score. Nobody wants to stand and pray. Today, we are calling. calling come one, come all. Come everyone. Calling, 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 calling the watchers, calling the prayer warriors. Come. Come and stand in the gap. Men that will pray and change the course of the sea. Men that will pray and hold on to the horns of the altar. Men that will not give up. Men that will not just give in easily and cheaply. Men that will not just follow what the trend of the nation or, or the world is doing. Men that will not abide men that will become so radical in the realm of the spirit that they will disobey spiritual orders and it's not coming from God permit me to let you know that I, 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 I beg I beg to say that I can't just accept anything that is thrown to me if it's not confirming to what the word of God is saying and what God has told me, I will not accept it. No matter how you bribe or sell it to me, I won't accept it. We need men of spiritual integrity. Where are the, where are the, where are the prayers, prayer men and women in the church that can say to God, Father, if I die, let me die. The three lepers they say to themselves say if we die we will just but die because they know that death is not the end of the game esther got to a place where she had no option the only thing she told the jews to do 
is to pray and fast. She told them, I said, I'm about to go before the king. Because in the land, there is a law that you don't appear before the king except your summon. And by the time she, she, she got up and made up her mind, she never knew that God has a plan for her. And by the time she said to them, I said, I am going before the king. Though I've not been summoned, but if I die, let me die. At least die for something good. No wonder COVID is terrorizing a whole lot of persons because they don't know what to die for. In the book of Malachi 3, the Bible says, and they love not their life even unto death. The reason why you can't pray is because you love comfort. Back in Africa, men will leave their comfort zone and go inside the bush. We are mosquitoes, we beat them, but they will be there praying. No wonder Africa is how it is today. I make both to say I'm yet to see that continent that is more spiritually sensitive than Africa. Africa may not look so 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 wonderfully, you know, touched up. You know why they don't believe in the materialistic touching up, they believe in spiritual reality. In Africa, people don't believe in, in the government. Whatever the government is going to let them do, they put their hope and faith in God. That's why God is using them. Bring an African preacher to a place that nothing is happening, he will break record. Why? Because he has his faith and he knows that anything he must gain or see or experience must come from the realm of the spirit. We need men and women that don't believe in their... In their in, in, paper qualification that a man must assign for them and tell them you are approved we need we need men and women that will believe in god that will become too spiritual to be carnal rise up on your feet wherever you are rise up on your feet wherever you are it's a season of reality it's a season of coming to a place of manifestation and divinity is a time of you telling yourself the gospel truth if you are not there in that number you have an opportunity today lift up your hand and say father use me oh lord for i am available pray that prayer right now i'm available for you to use lord use me father use me use me lord use me lord use me lord i'm available oh lord let your grace come upon me i'm available use me lord let the grace oh lord of your power and your power and your grace hey let them come upon me use me come on somebody pray that prayer use me lord use me jesus let my mind be stayed on thee oh lord let my mind be stayed on you oh jesus you are oh lord my beginning and my end father lord i pray this day let the zeal of the Lord eat me up and fill my mouth. Let your fires be shut up, O oh Lord, in my bones. Hey, in the morning may I seek you. At night, O oh Lord, may I seek your face. May I not get tired of seeking you, O oh Lord. Let me, O oh Lord, let me, O oh Lord, take me up to the mountain. Take me up to that mountain that is higher than I. Lead me to the rock, Father. Lift me to the rock. Lift me to the rock that is higher than I. Lift me to the rock, Jesus. Lift me to the rock. Lift me to the rock. That is higher than I. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for this great experience, Lord. Kabbalah hazo de bahu zike de bush. Your name be praised. Be that glorified, Lord. For in Jesus' mighty name, I pray. If you are not born again, you are watching this live stream right now. It is an opportunity for you to give your life to Christ. Let me tell you, there is no hope outside Christ. 
Ah, outside Christ, you will always experience crisis. If you're there right now, you may be saying, oh, I'm not ready. I tell you the truth. The Bible says, no man knoweth the hour or the time on which the trumpet will sound. Praise God. And I know that you don't want to go to hell. And I know that you don't, you don't, you don't want to, you don't, you don't want to miss that opportunity, that golden opportunity. Today you have one. I want you to stretch forth your hands and pray with me. Say, my Father, have mercy on me, for I am a sinner. Lord, I acknowledge you in my life as my Lord and personal Savior. I believe that you are the Son of the Living God. And I believe that you died and resurrected on the third day. Lord, have mercy on me. Forgive me of all my transgressions. Lord, I believe, oh Lord Jehovah, that I am cleansed. From today, oh Lord, I believe and I know that my name is written in the book of life. If you've just prayed that prayer, I say to you, congratulations. You can go straight to our website, www.thedunamispalace, and just drop your name and your information. Somebody is going to call you, and somebody is going to pray with you and guide you. God bless you in the name of Jesus. Jam those hands together to the Lord, everyone. Hallelujah.